Hi everyone, I am very excited today because I'm making yet another Studio Ghibli video. I just can't stop me. I can make so many videos about Studio Ghibli and I'd just be so happy. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hey, it's Monica from a couple days later. Oh, what, what's up? Yeah, so I just wanted to let everyone know about the sponsor of this video. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. I, I, I'll let you tell them, okay? Yeah, just give me a couple minutes, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know about the sponsor of this video. It's Ana Luisa Jewelry. They are currently having a Valentine's Day sale. You can get 15% off with the link that I'm gonna leave in the description down below. I wanted to show you guys the pieces that I got from them. First of all are these earrings that are asymmetrical. I've never had asymmetrical earrings before and I am in love with these. I also got this little butterfly necklace. It's super tiny and I love it because it's so dainty. And I also got these ring. I think it's so elegant. I love that it's gold. I love that it's twisty. <laughs> they are exceptional quality. Oh, hello. All of their pieces have lasted me for so long. For jewelry this beautiful, they have extremely fair prices, which is why it is the perfect, perfect gift for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of weeks. And if you have someone that you want to give a gift to, or if you want to receive a gift and you want to send them a little message like, hey, I like this. <laughs> like I said, the prices are great. The quality is amazing and all the jewelry is just beautiful. So I think it would be the perfect Valentine's Day gift, at least for me. They're currently running a Valentine's Day sale. You can get 15% off with the link that I'm gonna leave in the description. So make sure to check it out and take advantage of the sale. All right, let's get back to the other Monica. Hey, you still there? Oh yes, hi, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, thanks all right, girl, bye. bye. Okay. All right, let's find out what your favorite Studio Ghibli movie says about you. Of course, this is all my opinion. It's not factual. It's all just in good fun. All right, let's start with Spirited Away, my favorite. <laughs> if Spirited Away is your favorite, you love fantasy, you love magic, and stories about entering unknown worlds. You may love Spirited Away because it gives you an escape from reality. You might be someone who identifies with Shihiro, the main character. Shihiro is a young girl who is Seemingly afraid of everything, she is a crybaby, but then she finds courage within her and most importantly, she remains kind towards everyone she meets. She even shows this scary dude compassion and she never sees him as a bad person or blob. You might be someone who is willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. You also probably really like mystical creatures such as dragons and you would probably love to live in a fairy tale where there's secrets to unpack and magic to discover. Spirited Away is my favorite Studio Ghibli movie and the first one that I ever saw so I'm kind of speaking from my point of view here. I know that when I was little in the fourth grade and I watched this, I believed that I could see spirits or ghosts, which of course was not true <laughs> and I just wanted to be like Chihiro. Alright, let's move on to Howl's Moving Castle. If Howl's Moving Castle is your favorite Ghibli movie, then you absolutely love romance. Even if you don't want it for yourself, you love seeing stories about romance or friendships or soulmates, basically about finding your person and making those connections. You may also have a huge crush on Howl. I know I do. I mean, look at him. He is beautiful and he knows it. You love stories about wizards and witches, and most importantly, you love a good adventure, traveling and seeing different places. You also may be super creative, you probably have a really big imagination, and you may also be super artsy where you put that imagination and that creativity to use. Okay, let's move on to Grave of the Fireflies. If Grave of the Fireflies is your favorite movie, then you like to suffer, huh? No, I'm kidding. No, you, you really like to suffer. This is probably one of the cruelest and saddest movies that Ghibli has ever done. No, not probably. It is the saddest movie in the Studio Ghibli catalog. If this one is your favorite, then you are probably a very compassionate person. When you watch this, of course you cry, but you also acknowledge the movie's amazing story. You have a big heart and you would do anything to protect those you love. You probably also love history and are very curious to know how things were during certain eras, so you research or you watch things that, that have to do with those times. Again, you probably love to cry 
and you just watch things that make you feel a lot because that makes you feel good but yeah if you love this movie it's because you obviously love to feel things in your heart very strongly <laughs> let's move on now to whisper of the heart you are an artistic person for sure you either love reading writing you play instruments or love music you love movies or drawing or you know all of the above you have huge dreams of making it big in any of those areas but of course are pretty insecure about it you don't really believe in yourself that much but you know that you definitely need to try hard to take yourself seriously and to really believe in yourself if you like whisper of the heart then you are probably a very emotional person you get emotional very easily even from listening to Country Road, you get teary-eyed. Yeah, that has happened to me. I have cried uncontrollably, actually, during that scene. Why? I don't know. It just makes me feel things. You are someone who probably tries really hard to hide your crush from everyone. Yes, including your crush. It's like you don't really want to show everyone your true feelings. You feel vulnerable. You feel vulnerable. Wow, I never thought that would be hard word to say in English. Vulnerable. You feel ver- ver- I can't say it. Vol. You feel ver- vol- Oh my god. When you show your true feelings, you feel vulnerable. Um, so you prefer to hide them from everyone. You are probably very introverted and prefer to just stay at home and read or watch a movie. Okay, let's move on to Kiki's Delivery Service. Hello, Gigi. If you like Kiki's Delivery Service, then my friend, you are the main character. This is a movie about the coming of age of a young witch named Kiki. You may be someone who had similar experiences to Kiki, not in the sense of being a witch and learning to fly, but more in the sense of you had a lot of passions when you were younger and somewhere down the line, maybe you lost those passions and you had to really figure out what it is that you wanted in life. Am I going too deep with this? If you like Kiki's delivery service, then you are someone who likes to daydream a lot. You may even procrastinate a lot because you are daydreaming all the time. Your ideal day would be going to a bakery during a sunny day, enjoying the view of the sea, and maybe going on a scenic bike ride. All right, next is Ponyo. You are definitely a kid at heart. You enjoy all things cute and colorful because they just make you unapologetically happy. You have countless plushies. Your notepads and pens are all of cute characters. Your bedroom is decorated full of fun colors. People look at you wrong for it, but you don't really care. You just tell them to live a little. You enjoy life and find amusement even in the little things. You probably like the ocean and movies about the ocean and just seeing the ocean in an animated form, so in animated movies. Your favorite Disney princess is probably Ariel or Moana. You try your hardest to look at things in a positive light even when things seem to go wrong. That's why a lot of people like being around you. They just feel that you spread that positivity and that light. Ponya is just the perfect pick-me-up movie. That's why you love it so much because it just makes you happy. You like things that are positive and you don't necessarily enjoy things that will bring you down or bring your mood down. Next is Princess Mononoke. You are badass. You are someone with strong beliefs who will defend and fight for what you think is right. With that said, you are also someone who is willing to see the good and the bad in someone or in a situation. You are willing to hear people out. You try to understand their point of view while still holding your beliefs really close to you. You love a forest setting, nature, animals. You also love the mystical elements that this movie has, such as these little guys, this big boy, and this way bigger boy. <laughs> There's something that just attracts you about a forest that is riddled with magical elements and inexplicable things. Basically, you love fantasy stories, unsolved mysteries, and things like that. You take yourself very very seriously and work hard so that others take you seriously as well. You have already or want to cosplay as Sun. I know I've been wanting to do that for a while, I just never have. <laughs> you also probably love The Legend of Zelda, especially Breath of the Wild. All I know is that I want either a Princess Mononoke game in the style of Breath of the Wild or a Breath of the Wild anime in the style of Studio Ghibli. Alright, let's move on to My Neighbor Totoro. If My Neighbor Totoro is your favorite Studio Ghibli movie, then you 
probably wish that you lived in the countryside, in a nice little house with a lot of nature around you, just living a simple life. You are a super nostalgic person, always reminiscing about the past and your childhood and the good old days when everything was simple and all you did was run around in the backyard and play in the grass. Basically, you really miss those days. You probably had an imaginary friend or stuffed animals that you loved that you used to play with all the time as a kid that just made you feel less alone. There's something about a big, beautiful field or forest that just makes you happy. You love plants and you probably own a bunch and your room or your apartment is probably filled with plants. You have a very cutesy style with skirts and dresses and Mary Janes. Basically, cute and comfortable. And finally, you probably are way too obsessed with Animal Crossing. I don't know, it's just a vibe that I get. Okay, that's all the Ghibli movies that I have for this video. I know that there's a lot of others that I did not mention, but that's where I want to ask you guys if you would like to see another video like this. I wanted to start with eight movies at first and then maybe do a part two with all of the other movies that I didn't mention in this one. But please just let me know if you liked it in the comments and I will gladly do that. Also, let me know if I hit the nail on the head or totally missed it. Um, <laughs> I want to know if my assumptions were correct. So please just let me know in a comment comment of course don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and their sale um, I will leave a link down below so that you can go ahead and grab some goodies for Valentine's Day all right thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one